Hey, welcome back to GMA3, and our next guest is just one award away from becoming an EGOT winner. Yes, he has won an Emmy, Tony, Grammy in his 50-plus years in the entertainment industry. That's right, and now he is on to his next venture live from Mount Olympus. It's a new podcast adventure series for tweens. It combines contemporary theater with the power of Greek mythology. Broadway icon Andre De Shields joins us now to tell us all about it. Andre, it is certainly an honor. Thank you for being with us. And so in live from Mount Olympus, you voice the narrator Hermes, but this is a role yes. that you know well that you've, dare I say, perfected because you won your Tony Award uh, for that role in uh, Hades Town. What is it like, though, to take that character from, yes, woo, from the stage, from the theater, to a podcast? Those of us who perform in the living theater have to appeal to each of the five senses. That means we work in three dimensions, very broad. To transfer all of that to radio you have to use nuances because people can't see you people can't feel the heat that you're trying to bring to them so you have to make each one of the audience members feel as if you are telling the story to him or her alone it becomes very intimate Wow. Mm. Now, we, we mentioned at the top there, you're, you're an award away from being an EGOT winner. I think there's less than 20 of them out there. So how, how can I think Oscar is all that's left. How, what can we do to get you that Oscar? Make this a marvelous interview. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they'll come looking for me, right? All right? Well, if it rests on us, you might be in trouble there. Uh, but no, tell us, you've got all the, you know, look, five decades now in the industry, and now you are switching to something that is for tweens. If you, is yeah. that, was that intimidating or exciting? Or what were your thoughts going into, I guess, getting into a new audience? You have described it precisely. It is intimidating and it is very exciting. Intimidating because the radio audience cannot see us, cannot touch us, cannot smell us, and you hear better if you can see. Now, what the tweens audience bring to us is the least experience, life experience, conversely, the most curiosity, and it's curiosity mm -hmm. that makes me a better storyteller. Wow. Very cool. And you know what? For people who might not remember, I think it's important to point out <laughs> you played the original wizard in The Wiz on. on Broadway yeah. back in 1975. And you opened, 75. yeah, you opened a lot of doors <laughs> for a lot of actors there with your brilliance. As we are now still in the middle of this pandemic, Broadway's theaters are still closed, sadly. What is your hope for the future of live theater? Live theater is on its way back. But as it prepares the journey back, it must be more diverse, it must be more equitable, it must be more inclusive. We must begin to take to heart that when we're on stage, we should be reflecting the same culture that we see on the street. So that means theater has to be for everybody. And that includes affordability. Mm. And I'm right there for that. Wow. That is so wow. true wow. and so powerful. Andre, thank you so much for being with us. It is truly our honor, live from Mount Olympus, from Trax and the Onassis Foundation. It's available free, as you just uh. mentioned, that necessity to have it be affordable, now across podcast platforms and online at Trax. Thank you, Andre, for all that you've done. Thank you. And continue to do. We're going to get you that Join Oscar. Join us on the mountaintop. We're going to get you that Oscar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.